garden. Hi there, gardening friends. I just wanted to do a little video on how to take care of a succulent when it has lost one of its leaves. We don't like to see that happen. However, it can be a good thing because succulents have a special a special ability to revive themselves and become a new plant by just having a leaf off of the plant. I took two leaves and I put it in this vase with some water on a paper towel and I hid the bottom of the leaves so it, they could root and guess what? I have some really nice little fine roots here. I'll pull them out and show you. As you can see, I've got some little fine hair-like roots which will help it grow a new plant. So I'm going to pull, plant this in this little pot and watch for it because eventually as those, those little roots take root, a plant will come up beside this leaf and it will have a new plant produced. So let me add in the soil. I don't, this isn't exactly the kind of soil I would normally use. Normally when you're planting succulents, they like a third of the, of the combination of ingredients in the soil to be sand. This does not have that, but it will still root just fine and I can transfer it later to a pot with some sand in the soil. It will do really well in this pot. So I'm going to plant one on each side of it. I'll put one over here. I'm gonna use a little spoon here to carefully pot it because they are very delicate and you don't want to damage those little tiny hair-like leaves, hair-like roots, so, excuse me. Anyway, so I'm gonna pack it in around it because anytime you plant a little plant this way, it needs to feel snug. and It's just like a baby, it needs snugness. It needs to feel loved and it feels a lot of love if you pack the dirt tied around it and it will start those little roots growing. Before you know it, you're gonna see a little plant and that little plant will come up probably on the inside of the leaf. I can't remember, I've done this before, but um, I believe, as I recall, the plant will come up on the inside of this leaf and then eventually it will live off of the food in the leaf and eventually the leaf will totally die and the plant will be its own plant and it will begin to grow and look just like this one. So I'll get the other one. I've got another one here too. I'll put it on the other side. I'm trying to be really careful not to touch the roots. You can see they're doing very well though. That's a nice little collection of roots there. It's going to help it be very successful in growing. So I'll put it over here by itself, not too far from its sibling. Back in around it. Before we know it, we'll have two little plants here. And I will be very excited to watch it and make sure it does well. They like full sun. However, in our Utah weather, it gets so, so hot don't put them right next to the window. It needs to be away from the window because sun will burn it and then it could kill it. I've had it kill plants for me before. So I'm gonna tap it down good. And, and one other thing I wanted to add, when you're watering succulents, I've lost jades because of this. Do not water them from the top. Always water them from the bottom. That's how they are used to getting their water. You put water in the dish and uh, they will draw it up from the bottom and they'll be much happier and they will survive if you do that. But if you water from the top, you can very well kill them. I cannot tell you how many jade plants I have killed because it took me so long to realize that they don't like to be watered from the top, but rather from the bottom. So, this is going to be a successful little transplant, I believe, and before long we will have two little plants coming up here. If you like what you're watching and you're learning from it, 
I hope you will subscribe to my channel and catch us for our comments and plants of the week on a and Forever Plants on Facebook. Appreciate you taking time to watch this video and hope it gives you some help with your plants. Have a good one.